This video covers finding vertical and horizontal asymptotes of a graph using limits. Let's start by dissecting the mathematical definition for a vertical asymptote. The line x equals a is called a vertical asymptote of the curve y equals f of x if at least one of the following statements is true. In this general notation, a is any number that x is approaching. Notice that all the solutions to these limits are positive or negative infinity, which is the notation to tell us that the function is either increasing or decreasing without bound. Let's look at an example so this becomes a little bit more concrete for us. We can break this into two one-sided limits. Using the graphical approach, let's solve the left-sided limit. As we approach zero from the left side, we see that the curve begins increasing without bound. This means that the answer to this limit is infinity. Now let's solve the right-sided limit. As we approach zero from the right side, we see that the curve also increases without bound, which means that the solution for this limit is infinity. Both the left and right hand sided limits agree. Therefore, the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over x squared equals infinity. Now we can compare this example to the definition of how to determine a vertical asymptote. You might notice that in the example we just did, the value for a is 0 and the function f of x was 1 over x squared. The solutions to each of the limits we solved were all infinity. Therefore, we can recognize that there is a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. Because a equals 0 in this example. We can inspect the graph and confirm that this is true. Is there a similar method or definition for horizontal asymptotes? Great question. Yes, there is. Let's go through that now. The line y equals l is called a horizontal asymptote of the curve y equals f of x if either the limit of f of x as x approaches positive or negative infinity equals a number l. Notice that we are now determining limits at infinity, or when x becomes arbitrarily large. Let's understand this using an example. Let's use the graphical method again to solve this limit. As x gets larger and larger approaching infinity, what y value does it approach? It seems like this curve is getting closer and closer to 1. That's correct. So, this limit is equal to 1. Now, comparing the definition to this example, we see that l equals 1 in this case, meaning that we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. So, to summarize, what is the main difference between the definitions for determining vertical and horizontal asymptotes using limits? I noticed that for a vertical asymptote to occur, the solution to the limit will be infinity. But for a horizontal asymptote to occur, the x value we are approaching is infinity. In other words, it seems like the main difference is whether the solution to the limit is infinity or if we are evaluating the limit as x approaches infinity. That is some good insight. 